Okay, so we're now going to look at updating the agent in a remote desktop session host within a Horizon 7.9 environment. So what you're looking at here is the Horizon admin console. If I go down to my machines and select on RDSH hosts, RDS hosts, you'll see I've got one in the farm of one of my environment that's currently running the 7.9, sorry, the 7.8 agent. So what I'll be doing here is upgrading to the 7.9. So if I just switch across here, close that. So the agent has just been copied across to the desktop. So if I run that. And really what the purpose of, of this video and the previous one where I updated the connection server was just to look at how straightforward it is, how or, uh, little interaction is required from, from the admin and really kind of how quick it is in general. So the agent I'm running here is the same agent that you'd run on um, e either platform. So when I say either platform, I'm talking about remote desktop session host, but I'm also talking about a VDI image. So in my lab here, I also have a Windows 10 VDI image. So I will update, but it's using the exact same media, the exact same file. So we don't overcomplicate things by having different agents for different platforms or different use cases. It's just that one file but for both of those RDS and VDI use cases. Okay, so here we are at the start of the wizard. As I mentioned, it's for 7.9. We'll go through, accept the terms. Uh, I'll be using IPv4. Here I do have the option to make changes. So I can could add or remove any of the particular components. So if I wanted 3D or I've got the RTAV um, driver installed, and if I want serial port redirection, those sort of things, I could add or remove those things now. I'll just leave it as is. Uh, actually, now I'm going to add the performance tracker. It's quite a useful one. So, okay, I'm not worried about that. That's my my connection server name. So I'm just going to authenticate using uh, the existing logged on user. I'm using my AD credentials. I'm just going to say, yep, yeah, it's fine. And that will now go through the install. As it warns you there, it's going to take a couple of minutes, but, but you know, it, in general, it should be pretty quick.
Okay. So you can see it's added a new icon to the desktop, which is the, the performance tracker. And then it's just finishing off and restarting those services that it previously stopped. Okay, so if we finish that, and in this case, there is a reboot required. So I'll take that option. Okay, whilst that's rebooting, I think it's safe to stop the video there. But you can see how quick and how easy that was. And um, actually, one, one real quick thing before I do that if I just release the mouse and go back over here. To refresh, I need to wait for the machine to reboot. <coughs> okay, so as the machine's just rebooting, it's unable to query the agent. When that comes back up, I'm expecting the agent version to, to show in there 7.9, whereas previously it was showing 7.8. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can see my video on here. I only have too many VMs for my own good. Okay, so the end of course is. services have started sure about to so there you go agent 79 so now it's successfully updated and now we'll just need to do the same thing with our windows 10 vdi machine so hopefully that was of use to you thanks